Hello everybody and welcome to the third part of the Isle of Thunder scenario series and well apparently I rescued something that I didn't even know I rescued because apparently this thing uh, this pterodactyl look of the thing uh, I apparently rescued it and I mean it's badass to have it and Basically, in this scenario, we're going to meet with a Shadow Pan operative. And that Shadow Pan operative is going to take us through a mine where we have to go and take out the uh, person who is enslaving all of the Sarok. And basically, anyone who gets too close to the area. Uh, now, before we even reach there, we find that we are met with a glorious, uh, epic way to do this quest. So. What we have to do is we have to jump from Drake to Drake, or, well, Pterodactyl to Pterodactyl, and destroy the rider that's on it, like, kill the rider that's on it. Uh, you have to do this until all the attackers are gone, until all of them leave you. Uh, you get two more each time until you go around for the third pass to um, kill the last two. And as we can see here, we have three more that show up. Uh, we keep hammering them down. This reminds me of the quest chain in, uh, I, I can't remember where, where the quest chain was from. I think it might have been Storm Peaks, um, where you have to take on the, uh, the Norn looking people, uh, the, I forget what they were called, the Viacral, the Viacral, um, or the, the women, the woman version of the Viacral, um, you had to kill them. You have to kill them off of the. Uh, you have to kill them off of the the drakes that they're riding. And they those were actually proto drakes that they were riding in that. Anyway, I think it's always cool to have something like that. Uh, upon going to the area where we're supposed to meet the Shadow Pan operative, we are found. We find that one of the warlords is here, and it's a. I didn't show the best way to do it here. Um, when you see the blue thing uh, appear around them, get the hell out of there. Do not stand in there, because if you're a non-plate-wearing class, that's probably going to hurt you. Uh, now, we're laying down some heavy damage on them right now, uh, showing how glorious the, um, the bloody text uh, add-on I had looks. So when he does that little blue thing there, you want to get out of there. Uh, again, I didn't show the perfect way to do it, because... I was distracted when I was filming this, and I had a lot of things to do, focus on IRL, so I wasn't really giving too much attention to this. But we lived through it anyway, we kill them, and we get our little bits of loot. Now over here in the corner, she comes out and says, wow, you really know how to make an entrance, don't you? Well, yes I do. So going through the cave here, or where we're going to start to go through the cave, we have the explosion that sets off the start of this. Now she does not go ahead of you, which is awesome. She follows you and she will attack what your target is. A little tip to listen to beforehand is kill the person that is uh, sla enslaving the Sarok. And uh, that Sarok that he's enslaving will actually fight with you uh, against one of the guardsmen. I did not know that. I killed the first set uh, I found that out later on, um, so, you know, uh, don't make the same mistake I did is if you're doing this when you go ahead and do it, or if you have, if you haven't done it before, you know, you know now not to, uh, focus on the Sarok, but focus on the person that's controlling the Sarok. And we'll just skip ahead here to, now I thought at first that I had to do this entire area. So I went through this way, and I started looking, and was like, really it just says go to the back of the cave and, and defeat the slave master. So after wiping out all of these people, and right here I think is where I demonstrate how not killing the Sarok helps. So I don't know for whatever reason, I just focused on this guy. I killed him, and then I was getting ready to switch to the Sarok, and I go, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going off and fighting somebody else. So that just means that you have an extra little bit of DPS to take down these mobs. 
Also, you probably shouldn't be standing in those little lightning vortexes when they come up. I am because, well, I'm a plate wearer and I can withstand it a little bit more than anyone else could. But still, not something you want to mess around with if you're a clothy or even a leather wearer. Uh, even a male wearer would be uh, a tad bit pretentious staying in that. And we'll just finish that guy off. Uh, I think I got, like, at least enough for a full spirit uh, of the moats uh, in, in this. So it's really good if you uh, are down on, on moats. And that's our rock leaving. Definitely going the wrong way there. I want to continue on this way. So I go down through this way. Go up through here. Kill that guy. The only guy ahead of him. As you can see, I continue to get low, but when more of them come, I still stand in those uh, lightning things because my ability there, uh, when I'm below 20% health, kicks in, bring me right back up to half health. And I think that can happen anywhere between uh, 20 and 30 seconds, as long as the cooldown's met uh, internally. So, we're killing this last guy here. Sarok's free. Now we continue to go on down to this cave. And what do we see down here? She goes, okay, uh, I'm gonna go open that door. You keep him busy. So, by keeping him busy is we're gonna kill his ass. He does what all of these uh, model guys do. All the Mogu do the um, uh, little area in front of them thing. Uh, it's very slow to come off, so you can actually avoid it completely if you want to. Um, the other thing you're going to notice is that being a slave master, he's chaining you to the ground, which also hinders your, uh, your movement speed. But that's not really a problem when you are like already behind him. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. The fourth one's coming up after this, and I have no clue what the fourth one's about yet, so we're going to just take our time with it. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, show your friends, and if they like it, they can go ahead and throw a subscribe to me if they want, or if they want to look at all of my other videos first, they can. I have no quandaries about that. Have yourself a fantastic evening, day or night, or whenever you're watching this. Peace out, guys and ladies. See you later.